talked about laying out a page of artwork, but what about laying out an entire 400 page story? Well, laying out a story is not that much different from thumbnailing the artwork. My preferred method is to start with a timeline. Now normally, a story's got three acts. As I plotted out Ragmob, I discovered, well, hey, I've got five acts, but that's all right. Shakespeare used five acts, and he was a funny guy too. Once you have your timeline drawn, you can start to plot out the beats of your story. Now a beat is simply an action that takes place in the story that's important to the telling. On the act breaks, you want a, a, a large beat or an important action to take place that's going to propel your hero from the first act to the second act, third to the fourth, etc, etc. In the classic three act structure, act one introduces you to the characters involved in the plot and the plot itself. In act two, the action propels the hero forward into greater crisis and more obstacles to overcome. In the third act is the moment of crisis when all appears lost and it looks like the, the hero is going to fail. But of course, in, in a properly structured story, the hero overcomes the crisis, overcomes the obstacles, and the story concludes in a moment of cathartic triumph. So whether you're writing a comic book script that's 20 pages or 400 pages, whether you're writing a screenplay, a novel, or a stage play, structure is paramount. If your structure is sound, then you will have all the comedy you want, all the drama you need, and an ending that wraps everything up in a beautiful bow and leaves everybody happy and wanting more.